Please understand from all perspectives, there are no heroes, not Hype, not Lee Su Man, and not Kekau, to all company stands, this is your time to cry, let it out, no matter what things are changing, SM 3.0 is chalked until we can get a grip on things most likely in March, also, understand no matter what side you are on and how you feel, there are artist careers on the line, now with that out of the way on with the video. Suman is the founder and previous CEO of the company. A CEO is a chief executive officer, the highest ranking person in a company or other institution, ultimately responsible for making managerial decisions. In February 2010, Lee resigned from his position as a member of SM's board of directors but maintained a role in the company's management and artist development divisions. TLDR he still manages but doesn't have an ounce of the responsibilities, due to Lee Suman moving money into one of his shell companies. Cough cough money laundering. He was kicked off the board. SM was going down on the stocks, which means insufficient funds. There was an ask to help from Align. Align is a hedge fund that helps businesses stay afloat. They paid enough for them to have a seat at the table, but their money came with terms and conditions and Lee Su Man had to go. Now with this new information, public, opportunistic companies, Cough Cough Naiva, CJ Entertainment, and Keiko wanted to finally get their hands in the pot, recent KCOW being successful in this venture, now owning 8% of their stocks. Where does HYBE come into play? HYBE has had its eye on SM for a while, even went as far as putting offers in for management but was turned away. They're back with Vengers. Heard about the soon-to-be deal with KCOW. Lee called HYBE and contracted a deal. HYBE took the deal and acquired 14.8% of stocks, to keep the Korean exchange away from intervening. Now they do want to entertain the idea of acquiring 40% of the company, so they can pick and choose who they want to be in control. Hype technically has already done this with YG owning 17.3% in stocks. That's why YG artists won on Weverse. SM board members were sent into a frenzy, so they finally approved the KCOW deal to try to prevent Hype from controlling the stocks. The Korean exchange is keeping an eye on the situation. They asked for Hybe's intentions, and Hybe responded with a modest we're doing everything visible and open to the public. Everything can and will be done by the book, which is how they got the 14.8%. As of writing this, KCOW hasn't backed out or moved forward with anything. But we do know that SM isn't happy about the takeover. Now the current CEO aka the nephew has made a potentially huge mistake in creating new stocks. Creating new stocks dilutes the price of the stock due to the volume of stocks already out. But the problem for the CEO is the bylaw that was placed it stated that you must share with pre-existing shareholders first, which according to Lee he didn't. For the exchange, Hybe looks like the best fit. A monopoly is a market structure where a single seller or producer assumes a dominant position in an industry or a sector. Monopolies are discouraged in free market economies as they stifle competition and limit substitutes for consumers. But Hybe is in the music industry and KCOW isn't. KCOW is technically already a monopoly in the tech world of South Korea. Think about the global reach of Google with Amazon in its place. You can't navigate South Korea without it. So Korean exchange will have to pick their poison. Music monopoly or a tech giant going to an industry they have very little reason to be in. Whether it's pride shame, honest dislike, or genuine concern, there is a negative response about the hot potato of the company. The tabloids on helping, neither is the family feud. The current CEO has turned a potential acquisition into a K-drama by airing out the dirty laundry. Lee Sung Soo, the current CEO of SM Entertainment, has made various outrageous charges about Lee Soo Man, the company's founder and previous chief producer. On the 16th of February, Lee Sung Soo alleged that Lee Soo Man destroyed Ispa's return. The female group was supposed to release a new album on the 20th of February, ahead of their debut solo show in Seoul on the 25th of February and 26th. However, Lee Soo Man directed Yu Young Gin and Ispa's A and R team to rewrite the lyrics of the group's comeback song to incorporate allusions to tree planting and sustainable during the album production process. Even though these themes did not mesh along with Ispa's metaverse narrative, Yu Young Jin and the A and R team sought to insert lyrics such as only sustainability and drop by just 1%. However, CEO Lee Sung Soo finally decided to cancel Ispa's comeback, since the group's new song was ruined. The SPA members even shed tears after discovering that their new song will be discarded. 
Furthermore, Lee Sung Soo alleged that Lee Soo Man, who has been imagining the building of a smart music city, complete with music festivals open, auditions creative, cooperation -er, drone port and other amenities, was merely fueling his avarice and desires. Lee Soo Man intended to use the firm that he built, and the artists that belonged to that company, so that he could promote his Lee Soo Man city, which he aspired to raise all over the world. Lee Sung Soo concluded, now let's look at this at face value. Lee Soo Man isn't always is wrong but so is Lee Sung Soo. You about all of this and did nothing if this whole situation didn't happen we would have never known. You had all of this ammo and said nothing you are no better than Lee Soo Man. How are you collaborating with the crime and then snitching to clear your name? You are also a criminal. Another example is SM Entertainment co-CEO Lee Sung Soo aimed to expose Lee Soo Man for various underhanded transactions and selfish activities that the current CEO feels are damaging to the entertainment agency's future. On the 16th of February, Lee Sung Soo unveiled a video on his YouTube account, alleging that he intended on discovering the other side of Lee Soo Man's activities as the chief producer and the largest shareholder of SM Entertainment. First, Lee Sung Soo claimed that, Despite the fact that SM Entertainment's contract with Lee Soo Man's like holdings expired last year, Lee Soo Man still owns a number of other paper firms from which he is attempting to seize SM Entertainment's income. According to Lee Sung Soo, Lee Soo Man formed CT Planning Limited, a Hong Kong corporation, in 2019. Lee Soo Man's personal finances contributed about $1 million USD to the company's formation. After 2019, SM Entertainment forged relationships with SM Entertainment Beijing Company, Limited, Capital Records, and Warner Records for global distribution of music by Wavy, Super M, and Espar, CEO Lee stated. Although SM Entertainment provides all worldwide material linked to Wavy, Super M, and Espar, a third party in the shape of CT Planning Limited causes a deformity in the structure of the global distribution contracts. If these were standard distribution contracts, SM Entertainment and its partner firm would immediately compute the earnings of both parties, and Lee Soo Man would be paid his 6% in production fees through like holdings domestically based on the divided profit obtained by SM Entertainment. Rather, Lee Soo Man has signed separate contracts with each company involved, claiming 6% of overall revenues before profits are computed and given to SM Entertainment and partner firms. Lee Sung Soo further claimed. The contract between SM Entertainment and Lee Soo Man's like holdings was problematized both in 2014 and 2021 by Korea's National Tax Service. As a result, SM Entertainment has been obliged to pay billions of dollars in unpaid taxes. Lee Soo Man was then charged by CEO Lee of using his Hong Kong firm, CT Planning Limited, to circumvent National Tax Service restrictions and claim greater earnings for himself. In fact, Lee Sung Soo stated that Lee Soo Man would continue to benefit through CT Planning Limited in the way described above, as CTP's contracts with SM Entertainment and several international distribution businesses remain in effect. Finally, Lee Sung Soo accused Hybe labels of neglecting to verify all facts before signing the sale of shares deal with Lee Soo Man, stating this is one of the numerous reasons why Hybe will almost certainly face blowback from present SM Entertainment personnel and stockholders. But Hype grew a backbone and said quote SM must show effort to resolve the actual internal problems in order for these changes to create results. We do not think it is the right approach to raise suspicions against the largest shareholder. We request that SM's directors review if there are any aspects of what they are exposing to the public that they need to take responsibility for because of their approval and put in effort to improve the corporate governance in order to reassure SM's fans, employees, artists, and shareholder end of quote. Overall the situation is messy but all will be clear in March when Korean exchange gets invaded. But for now, stay safe, like, subscribe, and comment.